All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. It's first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker who's taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Oh, oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swing and a miss by Lee. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Connects with a right. Lee gets caught with that punch. 
All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. And they separate. And just misses with that big right hand. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice punch lands over the top. Right hand upstairs. This looks like Pac-Man just taking so many strikes to the head. Three minutes. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice. Big, straight left. Lee gets caught with that punch. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Right hand on point. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, nice elbow. Well, he's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big ball punch lands, now he gets back to range. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He blocks the punch. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, a he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as he gets to the end of the round. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, huge head kick. What a fight so far. And it could very well be anyone's fight. All right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round. DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You need to snap out of it. You're taking too much damage. You have to start defending yourself or I'm going to stop the fight. You've got to keep your hands up. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next oh, round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. 
Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Yes, but you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. There's no give on that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Slips. Oh, nice slip. And then a counter for good measure. So making good use of that reach advantage now. Oh, man, head to land. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee gets caught with that punch. Huge block there. Three minutes to go in round two. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big kick land. Kick. And they separate. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Another shot lands upstairs. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, damage done, bleeding from his cheek now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll get... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Spinning back fish. And now he lands a combination. Nice defense there, huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Caught that. No, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Big leg kick land. Good punch land. And they separate. Table in. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Round three next. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. Well, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. He's, he's limping now. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no sodas. One and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch, man. And he caught the kick. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John. But he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish the fight. Please kick that one blocked. Some nice back and forth action here. Great punch landing with so much power. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Boom. And they separate. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Punches block. Nice leg kick. Oh, oh, serve him up. Go get oh him. he might be out. Seconds winding down in round three. Look at the turn in that kick. 
kick. Oh, straight right. What a round. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starts to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got his so he's got him set up the way he wants. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's got it. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on the leg. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Real quick leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. High velocity elbow is blocked. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. His misses are entertaining. Nice kick. Loaded up that right hand, too. Oh, no way! Spinning back fist! Punch to the body is blocked. Beautiful strike. Just misses with the straight left hand. Counter punches, good by Lee. They continue to exchange. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got a very bad Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This crowd and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and combinations. And now he falls back into the finishing position. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has